it seems to me that that starting out knowing that we don't know all the answers yet is really important. Yeah, and, and you mentioned so the two very important words there, right? It's like the the uncertainty, the change, and also the complexity. So I have some quite some thoughts on this one. The first one is both of us come. You mentioned at the beginning, right? We come out of the I don't want to say the birthplace, but probably sort of one of the early places where agile you know, hit the mainstream. Agile development is very much born out of this insight, right? If I know all the answers and nothing ever changes, I don't need to be agile. Just write it down, I build it, you know, I'm done, right? Now, that's not the context in which software is being delivered today, so hence, we are very fond of agile. So what cracks me up is that sometimes people come and say, oh, I don't need architecture. Say, oh, you're an architect, that's very nice, but I don't need you because I'm agile. I'm like, oh, that's quite interesting because if you're agile, it means you deal with change and uncertainty. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, lots of change, lots of uncertainty. I'm like, perfect. So does architecture. Hey, because if you don't have change and you don't have uncertainty, you don't need architecture either. So first big insight is really agility and architecture go hand in hand to deal with a world that has high rates of change and high levels of uncertainty. They go together. They're not opposites at all. I often say yeah, agile is the steering wheel. Architecture is the engine, right? If one keeps you moving and the other one makes sure you move in the right direction. So that's a common misconception. 